What's good everybody? Today, this video is gonna be for my business owners out there. Today I wanted to run through a tool with you that you may or may not have heard of at this point and you know, maybe you haven't even gotten to using it if you have heard of it, but it's really useful in an area that a lot of people can struggle with in regards to their business. And that is the area of creating certain things that you might need to use to advertise and market your business. Now, this could be anything like, you know, creating flyers, this could be creating posts for social media, thumbnails for your YouTube, Instagram stories, you know, Facebook posts. It could be creating, you know, infographics or even creating a ebook for your business. And in some instances, you can create your own logos as well. Now, a lot of times, you know, you might rely on somebody else that is a creative and just pay them to go ahead and make it for you. But it could also be that you are, you know, just getting started in business. You may not have the budget for somebody else to do it for you. And you might need a easy way to be able to create some things that you need for your business without having a whole lot of, you know, knowledge on how to use Photoshop, you know, putting together different fonts and how to put together different templates to make the things that you want to create. Now, if you think you know what tool I'm talking about already, go ahead and drop the name of that tool in the comments and we'll see if you're correct. And I'm gonna tell you what the tool is coming up. So, you finally decided to start working on your credit after all of these years of being held back from the things that you want and need because of your credit. But wouldn't it be great if you weren't missing family time, your favorite shows, or even sleep because you're spending all these hours searching online trying to figure out what to say and do while you're disputing the items on your credit report? Well, it could be easier and all you need is a cheat sheet to show you exactly what to say and do. My Dispute Letter Library will give you access to letters that cover a wide range of accounts and make it easy to know what to say regardless of your situation. So if you want to get more done and get better results while also getting your time back, go check out my Dispute Letter Library in the description below and start reaping the same benefits my other customers are seeing. Okay, you guys, Will Frazier here, your business and credit expert. And if you like to learn about improving your personal credit as well as business tips and business funding options, make sure you hit the thumbs up to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you'll be notified anytime I put out a new video just like this. So I told you guys to go down in the comments and drop whatever tool you thought I was talking about in regards to helping you with your creative side and making that part easier to make, you know, graphics social media posts, flyers, stuff like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at what that tool is. And the tool we're talking about is Canva. Yes, yeah, so I don't know how many of you guys got it right. If you got it right, put that down in the comments. If you got it wrong, you know, put that in the comments as well. But yeah, we're talking about Canva. And now this is a free tool that you can use to do a lot of things for your business. And I'm gonna show you a few of those things really quickly in just a second. And if you wanna go ahead and check out Canva, go ahead and take advantage of your a free account that you can get with them as well as a free trial of the pro version which you do get a lot of really good benefits then again go ahead and click that link down in the description try out that free trial of the pro so that you can really see what benefits you get with it and just so that you can see they only have two options as far as plans and which is you know the free plans they have over 250,000 free templates you can use and those templates are super helpful when it comes to creating some of these things for your business. You get 100 plus design types for social media posts, presentations, letters, I forgot about presentations, and more. Uh, you get hundreds of thousands of free photos and graphics, and of course some of the better photos and graphics that they have. You do have to have the pro account to actually get those for free. Well, it's not free because you pay monthly, but instead of paying per item, you can get all of those included in what you pay monthly. You get five gigabytes of cloud storage and whatnot. So they really do give you a lot on a free plan, but of course you get even more if by paying just $13 a month. So it's really a small investment that you, you know, have to pay in order to get the extra features that we'll take a look at. One of the features that I really like about the paid plan is that you can remove image backgrounds instantly with the background remover. So instead of having to try to crop out the background, which most people use Photoshop for, and it can be like really involved trying to cut out some of the things, especially down to the details around whatever the object is or whatever the person is. This thing works amazingly well in cutting out those backgrounds. And also that magic resize of certain designs is, is really good as well. So you do get a lot of benefits for really a little bit of money. But as I said, let's go ahead and jump in and see what it really looks like on the inside of Canva. So as you can see here, um, this is the inside of my Canva. I do use it a lot for 
uh, you know, my posts and different things that I create. So this is, you know, one of the tools that I use really heavily. One of the major benefits I can say that I love about it is this brand kit over here. So with the brand kit, basically, you know, I can have whatever my logos are and I can have certain colors that I use as well as certain fonts and I can have them saved. So whatever fonts I use, whatever, you know, color schemes I use, I can have all of that right here. So instead of me having to always try to find whatever the color codes are, this will be available to me inside anything that I'm trying to create. So it makes all of this stuff really easy instead of having to figure out and remember what this stuff was supposed to be. So I, I really love it for that. But just a few things that you might want to create in your business. And if there is anything particular that you might want to learn how to create in Canva, go ahead and drop that in the comments too. And you know, I'll make a video about how to create certain things like maybe uh, an ebook or maybe you know, a social media post or something like that. I'm not an expert on everything in Canva, but there are certain things that I do, of course, know how to create. So let's say for instance, you wanted to make something like a infographic. So let me see if I can find that over here. Um, we have logos, business cards, labels, Facebook ads, and let's see here where there might be a infographic. As a matter of fact, to make this easier, I'm gonna just go ahead and type in the search and we got infographic right there. So you can just search of course for whatever it is that you're trying to do. I thought it might've been a little bit uh, quicker to access, but uh, so right here we got infographics, right? So these are very good for any business owner. And you know, you might be a person that creates items for business owners, like a social media manager or something like that. Or you might be creating this for your own business and either way, Canva can be really useful to making your job, you know, a lot easier or whatnot. So, you know, we can go here and see, let's see what we got here that might look good. Let's try something like this. So, okay, we're inside Canva and we can see our item that we were gonna work on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit right there. You can see here anytime you wanna change the text, it's as simple as just clicking there. Um, I can highlight all of this. And if I wanted to make this, you know, the particular style of font that I'm used to using, I can just click right here of fonts. You know, you can see your recommended fonts, recently used fonts, and my branding kit, which is a premium feature, you can see right here. And I can just immediately switch it to something that I would normally use when I'm, you know, creating different forms of media graphics, you know, stuff like that. So that's an easy change to do. And of course, you can just type in there to change. Um, anything else that you want to change as far as the wording goes but you know again i'm changing the the font right there now if i wanted to do something like you know change the size of some of these little graphic items right here some of these elements i can do that make it you know bigger smaller or whatnot i can even change out these uh, images that they have right there just by you know i can delete that out I can go over here, search for elements. Let's say I want a picture of a cow right there, you know, like maybe I want a picture of a cow there. That doesn't make any sense for uh, what we are doing here. And this is one of those uh, premium pictures that you would have access to, you know, and you would have to have a paid account in order to get access to that. But if I wanted to go ahead and just add a cow there, because, you know, maybe I feel like that makes more sense for what I put right there, I can do that very easily. Okay, and of course you can go ahead and continue uh, to make the changes that are necessary for this infographic to make sense for your business. Uh, of course, with infographics, you're trying to teach them something in a very visual manner and make it easy. So, you know, you just change the text for whatever points you need to make here and change the images to meet whatever you need. And if you needed to change, of course, the colors to be something that's more consistent with your branding, all you have to do is, you know, click whatever area you want to change the color of. You can click the colors there and boom, here goes my brand package of colors. And I can just, you know, select here and automatically change that to what I need it to be. You know, even those little images that are in the back, if I need to change those to something that's more, you know, in line with my brand, I can do that very, very easily. And, you know, this isn't taking much effort. I didn't have to, you know, design all of this. I'm just customizing it to, to meet my brand. So again, you know, Canva makes it very easy for you to be able to do all of these things. And, you know, even if I needed to resize something, which again is a premium feature, I can do that right here if I needed to resize this whole thing. But of course, the beauty of having these templates is because they're already sized perfectly for what you might need them for. You can create what you need to create and then hit share. And then it's just as simple as, you know, downloading the image that you need to download. You can select a different type of color space that you want to use. You can also make this like a PDF printout size if you want to, you know, 
print this out. If you're just gonna use it for a different you know, purpose like posting it online, you can change it to a JPEG or a PNG for a picture save file. If there were animations in here, which animations are something that you can do or have within some of the things that you create, uh, you can save it as an MP4 file or a GIF. So you really do get a lot of options and if you select you know like a png you can control the quality of the actual image so you know if you have a low quality image sometimes it can be very grainy when you actually post it or if somebody tries to zoom in on it it'll be really grainy so you can actually increase the size and quality of it you can make the background transparent if need be on something like this you wouldn't need that but like if i had a solo image of the cow and i just wanted the cow of course to show up then I might want that to be um, transparent or whatnot. But you know, it's all as simple as that. They have a lot of other options as well in there, but that is just, you know, what we're looking at in regards to infographic. Now, let's say you wanted to make something for social media, you know, let's say you wanted to uh, make a YouTube thumbnail. Of course, they have those there. If you want to make an Instagram post, a Facebook post, all of that stuff is here, Instagram stories. And then you can just go ahead and make the changes just like we did on the infographic to make it the same branding colors that you have, put your logo on there. You can also, you know, edit out the items that you might want to have in there. And they have various templates that you can use and customize just to make sure that it does fit what it is that you're trying to do. And with some things, you may not need to move around elements at all. You might just need to change dates, change images that are there. And just to show you really quickly, you can upload your own images that you might want to actually use in some of the, the things that are on there. And you might want to actually include some images that you already had, like this one right here that I have. This one is not where the image background is cropped out. As you can see, it's a little bit different from that right there. But if you wanted to see how easy it is to eliminate the background from an image, I'm gonna go over here to edit image and I'm gonna just hit this background remover right here and we'll see how that changes and makes the background transparent around me. And boom, there it goes. Now my image has been placed into this particular graphic and I can change everything around and everything looks really clean and you can see that, that was really simple and I don't have to worry about if there's you know little fuzzy stuff around it does a really great job of making sure everything looks good so yeah again the link to Canva is down in the description you can try them out for free but you might really see value in those premium features that they do have that they offer for you guys so you know don't hesitate to try out the premium version in the free trial that they give to you guys if you got value from this video make sure you hit the thumbs up to like it subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be notified anytime i let out new videos just like this one now i want to thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video and i'll see you guys next time